Welcome to another video. This time I want to talk about jobs to get started with in Final Fantasy XIV and which I absolutely recommend for beginners to avoid some of the more negative starter experiences some players might have faced. However, as still all classes change into jobs and those jobs change into a totally different self later on, you should definitely take this with a grain of salt, especially as some jobs that are locked behind certain expansions and levels could be easier to handle in endgame content. So if you're looking for something like that, check out my tier list for casuals found in the description. So getting started in Final Fantasy XIV is as straight as it gets. Create your character and choose a class. Just note that in Final Fantasy XIV, classes are divided into the Holy Trinity, healers, tanks and DPS roles. So it is actually hard to know which is which. And there's also a hybrid becoming a true healer or DPS later on with the Arcanist. Moreover, the class you select defines your starting area, which only matters for the first 20 levels and doesn't affect the red line of the story at all. So maybe only put this into consideration if you want to start with friends together. So for tanks you can choose from Gladiator becoming a Paladin later on and the Marauder becoming a Warrior on level 30. For healers you technically only have the Conjurer becoming a White Mage, but the Arcanist is also able to split up into DPS and Healer on 30 and offers that as its unique trait, no other job is offering. The rest are all DPS classes, the Pugilist becoming Monk, Lancer becoming Dragoon, Archer becoming Bard, Thaumaturge becoming Black Mage and like I mentioned the Arcanist that is able to become a Summoner as well. How they are classified and what makes them stand out compared to the competition, therefore I highly recommend checking out my 5 reasons to play series for the job or class you're interested in. Ok, so much for the basics, which of these jobs are actually great picks to get started? My rank 5 goes to the Conjurer, who is a very straightforward learning experience to become a true healer and one of the more classically defined ones later with Final Fantasy Origins, the White Mage. It might be a bit boring while leveling mostly on your own because you're basically just casting stone and wind magic to defeat your enemies, but every time you're dealing with group content the game changes and it's actually lots of fun being a white mage, in particular on level 45 when you gain access to the almighty group damage spell holy. Q times won't ever be a problem and the duty support parties for those that want the game's single player experience will not let you down either as we figured out that the healer is actually the worst part of the group or the least consistent one and you are basically replacing that member. It's just a very solid all round and even in endgame content I consider white mage as the best choice for players that want to become a healer and achieve that trait in classical manner and once you unlock the lily system the job becomes much more entertaining as well. Next up we have gladiator or marauder, both very versatile choices as tanks literally cannot die in normal quest environments and even when leaving your party in a dungeon, trial or raid it is actually tough to find your way to demise except the curtain call is nigh. However, I consider tanks to be a bit more entertaining than healers even though the responsibility level rises up quite decently. So in harder content your job is to take the first action, position bosses properly and not play spin the boss too much. But having played nearly all jobs and roles in multiple forms of content, I can tell you that you will grow with the challenge. In particular, the Marauder might take a slight lead, as self healing skills are introduced earlier than on the Paladin and its later job version the Warrior is just a literal one man army. Paladin is a bit more complex and does rely on active self healing which some healers are allergic to, but you could easily pick up any of these two to start your journey as the protagonist of the party and as a true warrior of light regardless of the aspect you might be choosing now. While I personally don't mind playing and starting as a tank, there might be some players that don't want to take up that special responsibility right at the start. So Lancer might be another solid pick that becomes a Dragoon on level 30 which enhances its gameplay a lot and perfectly introduces players into the GCD and OGCD system. Pugilist or even the Rogue that you can unlock in Limsa Luminsa on level 10 are definitely the tougher choice. Some people told me that Pugilist or Monk is superior to the Dragoon and not more difficult, but I believe it's quite the opposite, especially as Dragoon is also a top choice for Christie in conflict and much easier to handle than Monks or Ninjas are, that evolve out of Pugilist and Rogue. On top of that, the Ninja has one of the most complex rotations with clear battle awareness as the requirement, so if you want to start as a melee job, the Lancer is my best recommendation as it also shares the insanely cool looking gear with the Reaper that you can easily switch to once you have reached level 80. Forming a powerful gear shared duo for melee enjoyers with heavy focus on action gameplay that is still very straightforward. Oh and just this expansion Dragoon has seen many improvements on the gameplay side of things but especially on the qualities of life. So don't hesitate to become the icon of Ishgard and the sexiest push up specialist around. Talking about push ups, the archer is what I consider the next step in straightforwardness. 
It's simple rotation paired with the ever strong range flexibility that the whole range physical roster is providing creates one of the best starting experiences you can have. And while the archer becoming a bard on level 30 might just be the entry level for this role, it also offers good learning curves and practice with the GCD and OGCD system. And I absolutely enjoy the three different stances with multiple playstyle aspects that are layered on top of the standard kit. Moreover, I consider all three ranged physical jobs to be one, if not the best endgame job pick for beginners and people worried about their contribution in group play. These three offer everything you need, from the heavy supporter on the dancer to the strongest power lifter for the machinist, and the bard who is the perfect starting point falling in between both of them with very rewarding group damage and a persistent damage output that is easy to pull off. Also, for Crystalline Conflict, Final Fantasy XIV's most recognizable PvP bracket, the bard can easily decide between loss and victory and does that while mostly standing in the safe back row. So a very solid all-rounder pick and beautiful introduction into the game. Rank number 1 is an evergreen for me, because the Arcanist is just a jack of all trades. While technically being a caster, it is much more straightforward and way easier to handle on low levels than a Thaumaturge. The summoning and pet system has massively been rounded up in Endwalker and the final result just led to the easiest job to deal tons of damage with. Raise your party members or just simply swap from the summoner into the Scholar, becoming a full-fledged healer. And the best thing about that, you level one, you level the other with it. Yes, two jobs for one is simply a deal no one should decline when starting this game, because you easily get the best benefit and a great choice of two jobs if you just get one leveled up and as long as you're doing the job quests, you can swap between them whenever you like. As they share gear for the first levels and afterwards, quests and dungeons will take care of that anyways. Furthermore, when that isn't enough, the Sumner or Arcanist with the new changes from Endwalker's rework of the class has become a milestone in ease of use that nearly comes into the ranged physical territory, but offering all the caster benefits like personal shields, some self-healing and the raising capability. And even if you don't like that style, you can always swap over to the Scholar and become a Red Mage or something like that, so gain the same benefits but with different approaches. So, my absolute number one recommendation for choosing a starter class and receiving the most benefit from that regarding leveling, learning and endgame comfort is the Arcanist. However, if you want another look including jobs that also get introduced through expansions or certain level ranges, definitely check out my tier list for beginner jobs or like already mentioned the casual tier list, defining which endgame rotation is the easiest to pull big numbers from. Like always, I hope this video could be helpful to you and if you're interested in any of these jobs in particular, make sure to check out my 5 reasons to play series in which I'm digging much deeper into the pros and cons of each job. So stick around for some more content or until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and keep loving Final Fantasy.